Welcome to the session on the Signavio integration. Um, let me briefly introduce my name is uh, Christian Richter. I'm the VP customer success of Linux. So I'm taking care of all our uh, customers globally. Um, we do have uh, obviously quite a lot of customers um, having integrated with Signavio. Um, in today's session, I will uh, guide you a bit about the, uh, through the, the benefits and the logic uh, of the integration between Linux and Signavio. Uh, go into some use cases and also um, show you how to set up the integration um, on, uh, as, as practical um, as possible. So when you look at the, uh, at the in integration, uh, you basically um, have the, the world of uh, EA and the, you have the world of uh, BPM. Um, what we do here, uh, what we do have here, is uh, a way in the, in the integration to push processes from uh, Signavio to Linux and basically uh, provide uh, any fact sheet type um, as a as a dictionary or within the dictionary of uh, Signavio. The most uh, common way uh, where that is relevant is obviously the ab applications, but I'll go into some other uh, examples as well. Um, so what, what, why, why do we do that? Um, so it's a, it's a seamless link to uh, the business process architecture. Uh, having that not integrated uh, leaves you in, in two worlds of talking about uh, processes, um, not having up-to-date processes, um, and uh, that's where we believe, why we believe it's, it's, it's crucial to, to have a common understanding about the process on the one hand, but also on the applications of, uh, on the other hand. So um, we see that when, or in, in, in some go lives, um, two years ago there was an application list provided to the BPM team, uh, which is was used for modeling, but never updated. So um, and then the, the process modeler um, models the process, figures out this is supported by IT system. Ah, yeah, right. We have uh, introduced a certain IT system, so I directly created in the in the dictionary in staying in the uh, in the uh, in the terms of, of Signavio. So this leads to an unsynchronized world on, on both sides. So not having the, the right process landscape on the Linux side, and um, having non-standardized um, dictionaries where where to pick from. Um, so this is what we what we want to to see here, and, and on, in the next step, obviously also then being to, to an, uh, able to analyze what is my application support in a certain process, and how well is that done? Is that a strategic process? Is that a process that we want to uh, that we want to um, uh, 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 decommission, or is that something that we want to expand over the future? So this is then um, a dependency view analysis that you can do in, on do we really have the right um, applications because on, on the BP, uh, in the BPM model, I only see that it is an application or supported by an application, which is already a good one. But is that an application that is on our uh, invest list or is that an application that is not on our invest list? Is that probably perhaps also an application that is uh, in a certain way uh, risky? So um, for those of you who are Linux customers or uh, um, have, have used the tool uh, in, in any way, uh, you, you've seen it uh, already. It's, it's available for anyone uh, on, the, on, on our end. Uh, so it's, you find it in the admin section under integrations. Um, and it's, it's uh, basically very simple to, to set that up. Uh, so go a bit into, into details uh, later on, but you need a user. Um, and then you already uh, start to uh, go into the mappings and, and see um, what is the master for what, um, and, and I'll, I'll go into that. So um, if you see the two tools, um, Signavio is, is, is a modeling tool, and um, also um, uh, sometimes or when you're when you a um, uh, very intense user of Linux and you are familiar with Visualizer, Free draws. You would, uh, and, and we do uh, we do offer um, basic BPMN support. But if you want to go really deep, um, then our strong recommendation is to do that in a, in a process tool like Signavio. Um, if you want to create multiple dependencies between processes, 
um, etc. Et uh, if you want to in, in involve a very sophisticated um, uh, process modeling here. Um, on the other hand, you have uh, Lina X, which then allows you to, to analyze that and, and see on the, on the processes uh, what, what kind of uh, interconnection does really exist. So I already brought that picture up in the, uh, in the ServiceNow integration, but this, this makes the, the ecosystem that we are in uh, and, and the full stack very clear. So on the infrastructure end, we have CMDBs, tools like ServiceNow, uh, or, or, or other CMDB solutions. Um, on the business end, we, we have um, process um, management tools like Signavio and LinaX bridges the gap between those two, building the translation via, via an, an, an application. Um, really in, in order to be able to, to that we have, a, we have a translation, a communication between the technical layer and the business architecture um, and to, to avoid data silos here. So um, going a bit deeper in the, um, uh, in the implementations that we have so far, so the, the, the most common way of the implementation would be that uh, Zignavio um, is the leading um, system for processes, um, whereas the, the Linux uh, scope can be very broad or can be very narrow. Narrow would be, um, you just take um, applications from Linux and make them available as a, as a glossary uh, within the dictionary. Um, very sophisticated um, would be, or, or other possibilities would be to then also make business capabilities available for the process modeler, making um, data objects available. So this is, this is um, a way of standardization that we particularly see in, in large implementation. Um, where uh, Lina X has a strong position um, and um, is, is the, the standard uh, for those, uh, those records. And it's, again, we can retrieve the relation from that um, and, and always make it visible in, in Lina X, not just for the application. So how does it work? Um, and uh, forgive me that this is a really a very simplified process diagram. It's probably not as, as nice as the ones that you have in the cookbook. <laughs> um, so this is a process, and I'll, I'll also show, uh, show more complex ones. <laughs> um, this is then basically uh, transferred into a fact sheet in uh, LinaX site um, with a name, uh, with a description. Um, what we get back here is uh, the applications um, in the glossary. So this is uh, the, uh, what, what we would then see here, it, it comes up with a, uh, with a description, with a name. Um, and what we ultimately get is this 1.C, the uh, application usage in processes. So as in the moment uh, when the uh, process modeler chooses an, um, uh, yeah, from the, from the uh, dictionary, one, one IT system, puts it into the process, uh, that would be the moment when we get the relation between the process and the uh, IT system. So from a Signavio end, um, it's an automated import, so you don't have to take care of the, of the applications. Um, it's always the up-to-date uh, application inventory that you have within LinaX. Um, and on the LinaX end, you have uh, an overview of the processes and you have an overview of the processes in terms of their linkage and hierarchy. And I'll go deeper into that because that, from a development pers perspective, costed us a lot of energy to really figure out and make transparent um, good hierarchies to our users. Uh, because obviously you can relate a lot of things to each other, but uh, we have a very clear understanding of hierarchies and making translating that to the Linux users um, is uh, kind of a challenge. So um, when we look here, um, again, the, just to the setup, uh, very easy. You have a Zignavi URL, which is mostly the, the, the standard one. You have a username, you have a password, you have a tenant ID. Um, recommendation is here uh, to, to definitely have a, an integration user. And then we, we see multiple uh, ways to um, to do configuration here, so to put in strict labels, to choose between different fact sheet types uh, that we are taking, um, to select 
the, the hierarchy level, I'll go into that one deeper. Um, so this is all coming from Signavio 2 uh, to Lina X. Um, and uh, yeah, choosing here and on the lower, lower end, uh, defining what kind of fact sheet types do I want to provide to Signavio uh, within the glossary. Um, so again, this is, this is the configuration. This is the best way to, um, to, uh, to explain that. So you have set up your user in, in Signavio, you're logged into their instance, and then you, um, then you start to, to, to configure. Um, and as I said, um, and, and you might be um, uh, familiar with uh, ways how you can create process models or journey maps in, uh, in uh, Signavio. So this would be when, when you talk about what is the hierarchy that is on Signavio side, uh, we see that, in, uh, that you generally have a, like an entry point to your uh, processes, process map. Now uh, Signavio is promoting a journey map. So it's, it's basically one, one overview of your top 10 to 40 processes, depending on the size of the company. So what we are doing is giving that entry point in the integration and saying, hey, we only want to go from that point. And we want to take everything that is top down linked in any way. So it's first level would be the journey map and then the, the top 10 processes, then going down, going down, going down. Um, as I said, we, we do have installations where we have eight layers of processes, um, around 1,000 or more processes all coming together here um, and, and being synced into a, um, a clear tree hierarchy on our end. Um, a different scenario could be uh, bottom, bottom up. So you only want to, you have different entities. Um, you don't have a central entry, entry point or you have a central entry point, but still different entities. Um, and you only also want to capture uh, their um, process maps. So that could, could also be uh, that you want to in integrate them and put them under a certain uh, fact sheet in Linux. So again, somehow building the, uh, taking the logic that you have on the, on the, or the complexity on the service now, uh, on, the, on the Signavio side, and then uh, being able to, uh, to have it on, uh, in Linux. Third point is you have a project running, you sketch some uh, processes, you want to have them in Linux, but you don't care about hierarchy because they are all relating to one project, um, then you flatten the hierarchy. So this is the ways how we can uh, deal with the linkage of uh, processes uh, in, in Signavio. As I said, you can add multiple directories. So you have multiple entities with multiple entry points. You have uh, multiple projects uh, running. Um, all, all that is possible to, to, to capture that. Um, and you have the, the possibility to choose between a strict mode and a non-strict mode. So um, being able to say for each category, who's the master? So is it Signavio? Obviously for processes, I would strongly recommend doing it in, uh, in Linux. Uh, in, in Signavio, you can, can choose here per, um, per dictionary and say, hey, who's the master site? Is it Linux? Is it is Signavio? The one that I presented and then we implemented with most customers is saying we define the, uh, the, the standards here in, uh, in Linux. Um, and when we put it to strict, uh, then that means you really have the ownership. As soon as you archive a fact sheet, it would be not available for process modeling uh, anymore from that, uh, from that point of time. Uh, Basically, it goes in a very easy way that you put in the glossary category. So everybody who's ever used um, uh, Signavio, that's, uh, that's very handy uh, there. So um, also here, um, everything that happens through the integration, uh, it's not a black box. It's uh, documented in our sync log. Uh, this is available to check what happened, actually. So do we have, um, yeah, did we have updates? Did we have things that were checked, but we, uh, where the integration saw that there were no updates? And uh, um, be besides everything being tracked in the, in the audit trail or in the last updates uh, section as well. So nothing happens without being able to, to notice it or um, when it comes to name conflicts or any kind of conflicts, uh, this is also shown up here to make sure that we really have uh, the, the right data. So, um, how does it look like when in the, in the user flow? So um, when you go in, in Signavio, you have a certain process. 
reset, uh, receipt of goods. Um, you look here in your uh, dictionary, you put an IT system into your process. You can link it anywhere to any task, uh, but uh, also the simple, uh, already the simple placement into the process is enough to, uh, for the, for the, uh, to detect that this is used in here. You go in Linux, uh, receipt of goods, you see that's a level two, so this process was already linked to an upper level, um, procure parts. It also has some children, um, and you see that the application is uh, it's related to that process automatically without uh, having to do any uh, manual intervention here. So this is um, directly see it, we directly sync it, make it visible. Um, to the, uh, to the Linux user. So, as I said, um, this is a, it's a level two process, receipt of goods. It was by uh, procure parts. So the value add that we are also delivering on the, on the Linux end is um, you would have your uh, general fact sheet view if you clicked on, on this one here. So with all the attributes, the life cycle, everything that you know but there's also a document section, um, which uh, gives you, in, in, uh, on one hand, a, a link to the, uh, to the um, Signavio, um, however you want, the collaboration hub, or, um, or just the, uh, the ability to, to view the processes in ServiceNow, uh, in, in, in Signavio. But on the other hand, you, the, the little picture that you see here, so if you just want to see in which task does this, um, or how does the process look like, and where is that um, IT system actually placed in that process, uh, then you um, can see that here uh, in, in the picture without going um, to uh, Signavio. So this basically uh, always gets, gets updated. Um, the next one, and this, this gives some, some idea on hierarchies, complexities. Um, when, when you look at the, the reports in uh, Lean IX that you uh, would now use to, to be able to, to, to analyze the, uh, the, land, uh, the, the, the processes, you would see um, we have identified from Signavio four levels of processes going through from level one to level four verify applicant. Um, and we see what the, um, what's the application support for it. And for those of you who are familiar, I'm uh, at that point uh, able to apply any views to it, any queries to it, uh, that, that, uh, where the color would indicate, um, hey, how is that um, application support uh, really um, performing? Is that, um, and, and I can decide for myself, um, is that an important process? Is the support in the way that we uh, intended uh, it to be? Or do we have to change something here? Um, on, the, on the other hand, um, yeah, ultimately, we would have, uh, get an application matrix, um, combining it with data on our user groups. So we would see um, that uh, BPM and uh, Govi are used in the, um, uh, in, in, in the process, but Australia and, and France are using different um, uh, applications uh, for the same process. So this is uh, something that we can uh, get, get in here um, as well. So this is um, kind of an analysis where we make use of the dependencies, where we relate them to different objects on, on the Lina X end, um, and give the EA a good way to, um, to identify where to, to head, what priorities to set, where to start um, with the uh, yeah, with, with the next, next actions to, to work on the application portfolio. Um, when I wrap that up, um, you see that the uh, Linux service no, uh, Signavio integration seamlessly connects the EA world to the BPM world. And I said that both um, worlds definitely have their strength. And I, I, I believe that an EA tool um, like Linux is it's not the way, the, the right way to start modeling complex uh, processes. It's it's good to show um, dependencies, but if you are uh, going in 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 the process modeling direction, I would strongly vote to have a separate tool um, to do the, the the process modeling and 
bringing those worlds together um, and uh, avoiding, as I, I said in the beginning, um, that you have on the on the one hand, um, yeah, the, your, your processes, and on the other hand, you have an old process landscape or you have um, old IT system lists that you use uh, in your uh, in your processes for modeling, because uh, then the the result simply would not be accepted by anyone who looks at the either processes or the um, applications. Um, yeah, integration setup is, is quite easy. Uh, think about the, um, the integration user. Uh, otherwise, you have a lot of personal names uh, in, the, uh, in the updates, uh, which I would uh, definitely not recommend to do um, uh, on, on both ends. So to make sure really that uh, the, it's, uh, it's some kind of a system user on, on both sides who's performing that uh, integration. Um, it's adaptable on, on our end to, to all fact sheet types that you can transfer. So however your use case uh, might be, um, that, that's possible here. Um, and obviously you wouldn't uh, yeah, start in a production environment, um, but rather uh, go for a sandbox environment that we are happy to provide for a first, um, um, yeah, for a first setup um, on both ends. So going Signavio um, sandbox to our sandbox and then um, moving, moving further on when, when you are sure that uh, the, the mode of hierarchies, et cetera, is, is working in the right way.